will there be a lot of changes in, in your team uh, in front of this game? I think there will be normal um, uh, you know, changes, bearing in mind that uh, after um, this game we have uh, not only the Sunday game but the Tuesday game, uh, which uh, I found as an incredible surprise. How can the game be scheduled uh, after uh, you know two days uh, immediately? So putting the players' career at risk and the risk of injuries. Uh, I can understand the reasons why our game was ch against Aston Villa for the for the Capital One Cup was chosen to be on Tuesday, bearing in mind the other fixtures. But uh, I find it absolutely incredible that uh, we have to risk uh, injuries to our players in um, in the game that we play uh, uh, on that Tuesday. So uh, this amount of fixtures, uh, um, you know, forces to make some uh, some changes in the team. But uh, we we take the competition very very seriously and uh, we'll be very very strong. The Viking Gilfie is soon coming in here. Is is he playing his best football in, in his career? Sigurdsson. Yeah. I think he's uh, enjoying his moment. It took him very, very difficult. It was very, very difficult last year for him. Uh, not only because we started with the idea of four-two-three-one, but uh, you know through the season we ended up playing more four-four-two. Uh, in the end, he had some great performances on the left, playing on the left side of four-four-two, uh, and uh, we started using him now in the 4-2-3-1, not as a number 10, but on the left. And uh, he's getting to know the position much more and he's really enjoying his football. So uh, uh, he was the player that we most used uh, in pre-season. So he started, he's looking very, very strong and fit. And, uh, and hopefully he can have a, a good run of, uh, of games that allow him to, um, to continue to grow. Can we pass the microphone over to Sue, just at the front here? Can I ask a question? <coughs> Go on, yeah. Yep. Uh, sorry to ask a question. I know you've answered this many times, but I've been asked to ask you, so for forgive me. But the Prime Minister has said it's okay for Spurs fans to use the Y word. The Players' Union has said it's not. What do you personally feel? Yeah, it's a, it's a debate. I, what I personally feel, I've already answered that question uh, last week. I'm, I'm so sorry. But uh, uh, for my understanding, which is uh, probably not with enough uh, knowledge as uh, as as it uh, should be from a person that uh, uses uh, the word like the Spurs fans with so much passion and uh, and uh, and purpose but uh, not you know in a negative way but my opinion is that uh, whilst there is no offense you know I see no problem with it the problem is uh, is finding out what is seen as an offense that's why the FA has come out with that uh, statement. It is very, very hard for them to distinguish one thing and the other. Uh, so hopefully this doesn't become a, a, a debate that leads uh, uh, nowhere, um, but uh, it's a very, very sensible situation. Are you surprised the Prime Minister has got involved? He can be involved in anywhere. He's the Prime Minister. <laughs> so. Um, can I ask you a couple of questions about the form of Andros Townsend this season? Yeah. What's most impressed you about him? Um, he came very, very motivated to uh, to do well this season after his loan. Um, and uh, he was uh, jumping for an opportunity in the team. That opportunity normally uh, arose through Lennon's injury, because Lennon had a very, very good game against uh, Palace, and, uh, and he took it. So, um, you know, sometimes uh, players that are on the fringe of making the first 11, they, they can't have that opportunity and ended up, um, you know, training well, but not enough to, to break into the team. Uh, he has found th this opportunity and is doing extremely well. I think his, um, his performances have been outstanding. And what would you say he brings to the team? Well, he's very explosive in his game. Uh, he can uh, beat the man easily through changes of pace, but also through his uh, dribbling ability. He has this uh, uh, very, very difficult uh, change of pace to control. Uh, and, uh, and you know, whenever he comes inside, he's very precise on his shooting, uh, on his left foot. Uh, he's developed, uh, you know, a lot in this last uh, season, I think, through the motivation of playing games, either for, for QPR and uh, on loan and now for, for us again. So uh, hopefully this can mean that he can develop into a top player. 
and one last question. I know you were critical last year of Tottenham players who got called into the England squad and then didn't get picked again. Yep. Are you worried about that for him? I expressed my feelings already. Uh, I, I don't want this to be, you know, also a continuous debate. Um, I think, uh, you know, we uh, we hope that it, it will be with performances like the ones that Thousand had for QPR and and for us that uh, you know we will be granted with that chance. Um, the reality is that. You know, to be in the England setup, you face even tougher competition, and uh, you know, I just hope it doesn't become something that um, is going to, um, you know, put him without so much. Uh, on the, when you miss motivation, demotivated or just oh, incentivized. Yeah, but I just hope that it doesn't something that doesn't happen occasionally, that it doesn't uh, ruin his motivation for continuing to do well like he is doing.